Open your eyes. Bound and determined. Is it so frightful that you can't bear to look, yet you want to see, and so you are caught up in a loop of logic? How to have the clarity you know you need without poisoning your peace of mind with what you think might be there has you bound. You seem to be locked in place, at least for the moment. While you're resting from the struggle, consider your position. It's true, there are some realities surrounding your current situation, things that can't be helped, things that seem to be blocking all access routes to freedom. Were you to remove the blindfold, you could at least know what's there. However, were you to remove the blindfold, you'd have to adjust your angle of vision downward quite a bit to fully make them out. You see, your position has changed since you last took full consideration with open eyes. You're on a higher plane now. Let this be the first consideration and feel the tension start to loosen. It's been some time since you fashioned the knot that holds your vision in abeyance. Whole landscapes have shifted in the meantime. You might think your dream was firmly settled in the distance, safe and secure, but you sense that it might now be hovering precariously at the edge of doom. Is it better not to look? So far, it has been shielding you from the full impact of fear's teleplay. All the thoughts that might otherwise tear you to shreds have remained where you put them, safely lodged in the foundation of your stationary orbit. Cordoning off your safe space has bought you time. The world has changed while you've been tending to the picture held in your mind, yet you are not insensate. You know something is different, even if you can't see it. Consider this. You needed to be where you've been in order to see with fresh eyes exactly what has changed. The time for that is coming. Let this consideration loosen the tension around you a little more. Blindness comes in many forms. It can be self-imposed, of course, or it can come from a kind of shock, overwhelming the ability to process what's seen. It can also settle in imperceptibly, the mind making minuscule adjustments to microscopic changes in the environment so that change itself is never perceived. At some point, is it true that you made a choice not to be blind to what's going on around you so that you voluntarily held your position without regard to the slow morphing of reality's projection? Consider now that to choose to be blind to the illusion can afford you clearer sight. By holding your gaze on the goal held in stasis within the mind's vault, you've actually maintained a core reality in a safe space, while seismic change has shaken everything else. The time has come for you to see. At this point, you are merely blind to what you cannot see coming. The clarity of your inner vision, unveiled, will take in what has come into the field of view before you. Let this consideration remind you how to untie the knot. Be ready to step past the limits of the zone. You're at the edge of a vital shift in awareness. Thank you for listening. If you like this channel, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can keep up with all the new videos that come out. I thank you all for your kind support. And if you are interested in helping this channel along, please visit coffee.com slash divine nine, where you can buy a coffee or subscribe for monthly support. Everything's greatly appreciated and helps extend the mission of the League of Light. Please visit me at ninespath.com and explore all of the books and videos and writings and drawings that the League of Light has transmitted through me and be ready to change your world. Until next time, have a great week.